Hey guys and welcome, yes, welcome to the Funky Kid Show Live with me, your host Winston. Yes, the Funky Kid Show Live on this beautiful Sunday. Yes, uh, I think it's 11 a.m. in uh, Pacific Time and I think it's like probably 7 p.m., something like that. Yeah, in the UK. So welcome to the show. Yes, this is the Funky Kid Show Live with me, your host Winston, and we're just getting the streams up and running, and we're looking good on Facebook, yes, live, on Twitch, live, and of course, uh, YouTube, live. Yes, I'm still in Canada, yes, uh, I've been off quarantine for about a week, and I've been exploring, wonderful, great outdoors out here in Canada, and it's fantastic weather, I think it's raining today, but uh, it's okay, you know, you got to have some rain. Um, hey, Rattle Row, how's it going? Just joining, just setting up the show. We should be live on Facebook, Twitch, as well as uh, YouTube. Hey, Tariq True, Robic, a Robotic Pizza 9. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the show, live. All right, we're just getting the streams up and running, and uh, we will carry on. As soon as we confirmed, yes, we're live on Facebook, Twitch, as well as YouTube. Hey guys, welcome. All right, so yes, for you guys who just joined, welcome to the show, the Fucking Kid Show live on the Sunday. Yes, the uh, I think it's the eighth of July or August. <laughs> Robotic Pizza and I, you've got a tan. Yeah, the UV over here in Canada is crazy. I mean, um, I'm a, I must have been out for about a couple of hours just doing a little walk around Stanley Park. And they have a place, well, it's, I think it's like a little island kind of thing, but it's attached to the main kind of city downtown area. And this uh, Stanley Park is like, I don't know, must be like 25 plus kilometers. And I did probably 70% of it. I just walked. And uh, the sun was blazing. Uh, I couldn't believe it. There's like beaches on the uh, on Stanley Park. Yes, beaches in Vancouver, and people just sunbathing there. But yes, they. I was there for about maybe a good like probably I walked about five hours around Stanley Park. And by the time I came back, I was like, <laughs> I got this like tan, crazy. The UV sun, you know, is is mad. Yeah, yeah. But it's good though. All right. We're just getting the streams up and running, and we're live on Facebook, Twitch, as well as YouTube. Just for you guys who just joined, welcome to the show, The Funky Show Live, with me, your host, Winston, on the 8th of August. Welcome. All right, so we're going to start off with the agenda and take a look at what we're going to cover today. As you can see, we're going to do news and updates on our website, Funky Kit, as well as AMD 3D. And then, of course, I'm going to talk a little bit about my experience on the live event streaming using Google Meets. So there are two types, I've just noticed. And um, I want to kind of show you how it's done and what it can do. So we've done a, a little live event earlier in the week, um, and it worked, it worked quite well, actually. So I want to show you how it was set up and what to look out for. So that's basically live streaming events uh, using Google Meets. And then, of course, we've got the Rig Builder. Uh, that's actually fixed now, so we can go through that uh, on both our websites. And then we've got uh, Rigs or Mods of the Week taken from our Extreme, uh, Extreme PC Modding Group and also our Funky Kit and Gadgets Group. And for the Extreme PC Modding Group, we have over 30, I think 80 plus. <laughs> yeah, my... Uh, my head is playing up again. It's got that uh, after after some inactivity. Oh, I was it inactivity? I think the uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah, I think it's a little Wi-Fi dongle. Let me show you what I mean. Here you go. If I can bring it up. Uh. It's a little, uh, that little Wi-Fi dongle out there. Uh, let me just show you what I mean. Here we go. Let me unclip the camera. So this wireless headset connects up to the uh, dongle right here. See a little dongle right there. And for some reason, it uh, if it kind of like loses connection, uh, my headset uh, will just like click off. So I need to switch it back on, which is uh, weird. I need to look into that. It's probably the hub, USB hub. Anyway, all right. So um, 
after the mods of the week we'll do uh, a quick break 15 minute break around there and we'll take a little look at the video of what you'll be winning if you're a twitch subscriber and then we've got a crypto update some fantastic uh news uh last week well i say news uh it's been going up so uh, i want to cover that quickly and then i've got a general chit chat with the the uh best buy experience so uh yes we went to best buy in canada and it's basically just yeah your ordinary kind of superstore but we'll take a look at that we'll cover that and then we've got some price giveaway announcements and of course some live price giveaways for you guys and then uh, we'll wrap it up with next week's preview all right so let's have a look at the chat and see what's going on did you know the gigabyte laptops are a bit rubbish the ones with the rtx 3060 week performance yeah there's uh, some news about that uh, i think i'm not sure specifically gigabyte there was uh, some news about uh some laptops i think i think i think it was i'm not sure if it's dell or the few others uh saying that the rtx um laptops performance wasn't that great um some of them using the max q some of the probably a firmware issue drive issue it just didn't perform as well so that was quite surprising uh but i think they fixed it with a firmware update or a driver update uh, but the one I'm using right now with the Asus uh, Zephyrus uh, G14 is fantastic. I have no issues with it so far. Um, been working great. It's exactly what I'm using right now for the streaming, and it works perfectly. All right. Wow, oh, did you go? Yeah, I actually I went to get a printer. <laughs> yeah, an inkjet printer which I needed for some printing stuff like documents and stuff like that. So I couldn't believe it. Like people these days still require documents, like paper documents. I mean, I I understand like you know if you get your ID or passport whatever, that's fine. That's that's the actual you know government issued document. But I'm talking about like paper A4 size like printouts. Uh, <laughs> why do people need that these days? I mean, I thought you were saving the environment. Anyway, um. But yeah, paper documents, uh, A4 size, I think we still need these, still need them for the day. So we got a printer and um, yeah, we just went to Best Buy to get it. So it was okay. Nothing special, but uh, yeah, we'll talk a little bit about that later on. <laughs> All right, so we talked about the dongle uh, for the wireless. Uh, I think it's the hub, I'm not sure. Because if I directly plug that into the USB port, I shouldn't get any issues, uh, but the hub is sharing uh, the camera, the speaker, the uh, USB speaker, and the uh, headset, so there could be some power issues there. Chicho underscore W. Hi, Uncle Winston. <laughs> I'm not sure who that is, but uh, yeah, well, if I'm your uncle, welcome to the show. Robotic Pizza, try mining uh, with two euros a day on nice hash. Ah, okay, so uh, mining on nice hash. We'll talk a little bit about mining. We'll do the crypto update. Mining on the nice hash, it's okay. It's okay. It could be done. Uh, but there's a, it, you got to think about electricity as well. Yeah. And also your GPU is going to be like 100% load. It's going to like eventually kind of kill it. <laughs> After about a year, a hundred percent load. All right, Kirk, one thousand laser inkjet. Um, yes, it'd be just an inkjet. Uh, laser. I don't really need one. If I went, if I kind of set up an office, like an, a home office, then I'll probably go for a laser. But this is more of a just like casual printing. I don't think I'll be printing much to it. Oh, it's Joel. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the show. Hope you're into your IT stuff because that's what I'll be talking about most of the time. <laughs> yes, I'm in Canada, but I'm live streaming. So I think back in the UK, it's uh, 7 p.m., something like that. Yeah. All right. So just direct. Plug yeah, yeah, yeah. Robotic pizza. Right. Yeah, truly. I could. I could just take that uh, USB dongle, plug it straight into the USB port. I think I've only had two. A lot of new laptops only come with limited USB ports. Most of them now come with USB-C. So yeah, this one, uh, USB's got two USB uh, ports, so that's, that's fine. All right, let's move on and let's start the updates on our uh, Funkit website as well as AMD3D. Let's bring up the website.
All right, here we go. All right, here we go. And uh, we're going to start off with some of the reviews that we've done in the past week. And we're going to take a look at this here. All right, so we got this one. It's the Acer FA100 one terabyte M.2 SSD. Uh, if, for example, you have a, a laptop or a mini ITX system um, and you're, you know, you only have like maybe 256 or even 512, but you want to upgrade it to one terabyte. So this is pretty good. I mean, one terabyte SSD M.2 and it's the um, different, you know, you get some decent speeds out of it. You got like three, 3.3 gig or 3300 megabytes per second on the on the read and you got 2700 megabytes per second on the right so so decent speeds and um this one's fairly cheap i think let's have a look one terabyte m.2 ssd looking at 128 euros so around about 150 dollars around i guess uh but yeah not bad at all five-year warranty and this is from acer nothing like like a samson but very nice uh if yeah it's perfect for any app laptop upgrades things like that so one terabyte so you check out the review on that we also have this one the patriot sonics supersonic rage prime one terabyte usb 3.2 uh flash drive so uh I'm not sure if people realize, but you can actually get different speeds of USB drives. And this one, of course, is a USB 3.2. And it's a one terabyte by Patriot Supersonic Rage Prime. And this thing is fast. Let me show you how fast it is. It's as fast as a SATA SSD, I believe. Let me just check out the uh, speeds on this one. Wow, look at that. You're getting 621 megabytes per second. On the read and the right you're getting about 300 to 400 megabytes and up to possibly 500 megabytes per second right so if i got a usb stick right here we go let me show you what i mean right so i got a standard like usb to um drive all right so this thing here is like only eight gigabyte yeah eight gigabytes so the, the supersonic rage here is actually one terabyte and um the speeds i'm getting out this uh the standard eight eight gig usb drive is like maybe 30 megabytes per second and that's like like the lower lower speeds but this thing here i mean look at the speeds on these 600 megabytes per second you're looking at the same speed or similar speed as an ssd like a sata ssd so not bad if you want a, a portable super small storage that you could carry around with you um at ssd speeds sata ssd speeds you're looking at you know this one is amazing and look at the price on this one this one you're looking at what 159 dollars not bad at all actually for a one terabyte and this thing is super fast so um yeah if you want a portable SSD, uh, portable USB 3.2 drive, of course, your uh, system has to be compatible with the USB 3.2 standards. And I think most new motherboards and new laptops do have 3.2, USB 3.2 standards interface. Then uh, this one is amazing. Patriot Supersonic Rage Pro, uh, uh, Prime, uh, USB flash, uh, flash drive, one terabyte version, giving you SATA SSD speeds. Not bad at all. All right, next we have uh, another Acer. Uh, this one is the SATA 3 SSD. It's a 2.5 inch SSD, and this one is a 1.92 terabyte. So it's like uh, 1,920 <laughs> gigabyte capacity. So uh, yeah, two terabyte capacity. I'm going to call it two terabytes uh, capacity. Look at that. Remember I told you about the uh, USB 3.2 supersonic rage pro right here this one here and this gives you 600 megabytes of uh, read speed look at that this is a acer sata okay ssd are you looking at it's faster than a than a, a sata i mean amazing anyway so you got one of these you get again you could plug it into your laptop on an upgrade as well you can put it into an external um enclosure so you're getting sata speeds 
um, and this is a two terabyte drive SSD and you can actually uh, yeah use that for an external storage device as well as well as uh, replacing your hard drive in your laptop but yeah uh, let's have a look at the price it should be fairly affordable wow $219 so it's about right I guess remember this is a two terabyte version so it's perfect for storage of uh, audio files I, I tend to use this for like an external enclosure or put them into a NAS drive all right so these are the reviews we've done in the past week I also think uh, we mentioned this one before the TerraMaster this one is a what we call a DAS drive direct uh, access a direct attached storage sorry and this one uh, it's got a handle and that's why <laughs> I think anything with a handle, I don't know why. I think with a handle, I think it's... Some people don't like handles. I like handles. <laughs> it just means I can carry this around anyway. So it's a two-bay dash draw, uh, setup, uh, direct attached storage. And you can see, you could put in a, an SSD in there. You get a 2.5 inch there or a 3.5 inch. And you could put it into a RAID setup or um, a bunch of disks and things like that. Uh, but this thing is that this one is a Thunderbolt 3 interface, which means is a lot faster. So um, let's have a look at the speeds on these drives. So you're bound to your SSD or your NAT or your uh, yeah your SATA interface. But the whole point is you're gonna get uh, Thunderbolt speeds as well through the interface. So um, which means you can plug it into your Apple. MacBooks as well as PCs, laptops, whatever. So um, here goes the RAID setup. Uh, you're getting 600, 700, 700, and um, not bad at all actually. The so RAID one. This is uh, more information on that. So yeah, so this one just for the enclosure. Looking at what's the price on this one. You're looking at uh, $300, probably a little bit more pricey than I thought, but uh, Thunderbolt 3 connection, it's okay, I guess. Uh, but here you see my friend there using two uh, SATA SSDs. You can actually put uh, 3.5 inch as well, normal spindle like mechanical drives. But yeah, this is like um, if you want uh, extra storage that you could carry around with a nice little handle there. Hey, Joachim, how's it going? <laughs> Joachim is a great friend of mine. He's uh, We've been do doing a couple of uh, shows with him uh, last month and the month before. You can check out some of his streams on Twitch as well. He's a great little gamer there as well. And he does a uh, podcast with uh, Bobby. It's the Fragging and Lagging crew. All right, okay, so reviews covered on our website. Let's have a look at some of the news, uh, what's been happening here. This is interesting, Intel NIC, or NUC12 enthusiast. So, um, yeah, this is interesting. This is uh, something that, this is not the actual photo. This is taken from the NUC11. The NUC12 uh, looks similar to this. Uh, but it has the skull trail or the skull symbol from Intel, which is interesting. Uh, this one uses the latest um, 12th gen processor with the LG 1700 socket. And we've got DDR4 RAM in there as well, M.2 SSDs, Optane memory, uh, blah, 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 and also Thunderbolt 4. So this is uh, the new version. This one right here, you can see kind of like, um, couldn't actually see a closer shot of this one, but uh, yeah. So for you guys who don't know what a NUC is, uh, Intel, it's just a sh abbreviation right there, Intel Next Unit of Computing. That's interesting. I wonder if you actually, they, what they could have done is actually put like maybe get these units here and actually kind of network them together or call, pile them up together. Like you, know, you can stack them up. Yeah, the more you stack, the more powerful it gets. That'd be interesting. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, so it has the Elder Lake processor, the DG2 um, GPU, and display port and so on. All right, let's move on and see what else news we have here. And 
or ASDROG updating their BIOS to support all of the latest Ryzen 5000G processors for all of their motherboards, uh, including the uh, X570, the B550, and the A520. So, uh, if you didn't notice, uh, last week AMD released their uh, 5000G processors, the, 50, the Ryzen 7 5700G, and also the, 56, the Ryzen 5 5600G. So, these are basically APUs with uh, desktop, desktop APUs. Fits in the AM4 socket and it has built in uh, or onboard Radeon 8 graphics. It's for people who, like for example, I, I do a lot of mini systems, and um, rather than get a discrete graphics card uh, or right away, we can actually use the Radeon onboard these APUs just to get things up and running uh, for Windows, for a little bit of, you know just like home use and then later on you can decide to get a discrete graphics card to add on to the uh, mini system so yeah these are great great processors uh, i quite like them they're the onboard uh, integrated graphics with the radeon 8 uh, i believe um, but if you think about it if you compare that to an intel chip with graphics the these ones will just kick ass yeah versus uh, any other intel processors with the onboard graphics the onboard iris um, but this one, uh, the A AMD uh, APUs uh, uh, with the, ri the Ryzen 5000G series, yes, definitely worth looking into. All right, uh, AdLink, mm, high performance Spider 4 gaming series, interesting. And uh, ADATA really pushing a DDR5, so we got some DDR5 memory and coming out soon uh yeah so look out for that so ddr5 will be coming out towards the end of the year we'll be seeing motherboards that use them especially the intel 12th gen the uh and intel uh the z600 series chipset will probably use ddr5 as well so that would coincide the launch with the 12th gen i suppose i'll be surprised if it didn't but um yeah we'll look out for that later on in the year and then um, i believe next year or early towards uh, beginning of next year, we'll see AMD with their next generation of chipset, and hopefully they'll support the uh, DDR5 as well. We'll see. All right, so these are news covered. Uh, let's have a look and see what's going on with the chat. Let's have a look. All right. Hey, Pig Radio, how's it going? Vancouver's do oh yeah Vancouver's doing fine I love I love the city uh I'm surprised actually how how a lot of well, especially downtown how fit the people are I mean in terms of like they love their outdoors they love doing their exercises they they're riding their bicycles they're doing their scooters um they have of course special scooter and bicycle lanes but uh yeah they're really like into their kind of sports and their kind of health so yeah fair dues. All right. Yeah, the actual NAS drive I showed you earlier, actually, it's Thunderbolt 3, it's not Thunderbolt 4. Thunderbolt 4 is still fairly new. It's available on the uh, Mac Pros and then the Mac, certain Macs. And, uh, of course, Intel owns some of the patents behind that as well. Uh, so what you see in, in the TerraMaster dash, I think, is a Thunderbolt 3 interface. All the latest Thunderbolt 4 are reserved for the, the more higher end stuff. So we'll probably see some of that later on the year, next year. A knuck. <laughs> Here we go. It just kind of came off again. All right.
Right, let's move on and take a look at the sister site, our AMD 3D site. This is our sister site regarding anything to do with AMD related stuff, right? So AMD processors, uh, Ryzen's, Threadrippers, Xboxes, Radeons, uh, PS5s. So let's take a look and uh, we'll switch over to the website right here. Here we go. As you can see, the website right there. And then we're going to start with this one. PUBG is now officially called PUBG Battlegrounds, which kind of doesn't make sense. Because <laughs> it's player unknown uh, battlegrounds, it'll be like battlegrounds, battlegrounds, right? <laughs> Players unknown battlegrounds, battlegrounds. Well, anyway, it's called PUBG Battlegrounds now, and uh, the well, not much behind it. But yeah, if you haven't played it, then go ahead and have a go. It's it's just like any other kind of like um, game. Like, uh, yeah, it's a battleground. I've played it once or twice. It's okay. I think in my last couple of streams uh, last year, we did a little uh, play around with that. It's okay. It's not, nothing special. All right, battlegrounds, battlegrounds. And then we have uh, RDNA 3 rumors. Uh, this is interesting. I think it's going to come out um, kind of towards 2022. So that's what they're saying. And um, here we go. Navi 31, 32, and 33. Um, look at the stream process accounts right here. <laughs> That's just crazy. So this is the next gen uh, of Radeon graphics, right? Uh, I'm not sure what they're going to call it. Um, Possibly they're going to call it like the 7900 or series, 7000 series. Uh, but this will, will use the uh, um, the TSMC 5 nanometer process, their fabrication process, uh, or between 5 nanometer and 6 nanometer. So check it out. And um, lots of stream processors. Uh, and yeah, look at the, the wattage consumption here. Possibly up to 400 watts. It's going to be crazy. So well, we'll see. I'd love to see what the performance will be like. Uh, and will it catch up to int, uh, the NVIDIA? So who knows? Maybe. So yeah, RDNA 3. Interesting. And oh, I love this one. This is the uh, the white version of uh, uh, mini ITX systems for the RTX 360. So uh, I just had to put it in there because the, the, the look at the, it's so cute. I mean, if they did a Radeon version of this, it'd be nice. All right, moving on, we have uh, some other news here. Here, this is the Ryzen 5000 um, series, 5000G. So here we have the Ryzen 7 5700G processors, and they're actually um, outselling desktop processors, right? So here you go. These are the desktop processors. Uh, the 5700 uh, would be, you know, for example, you got the 5600 and so on. So what's happened is, um, I think people who, who are used to Intel with their onboard graphics or onboard Iris graphics, Intel graphics, whatever, um, it was always uh, AMD was always kind of a you know one step behind with in terms of integrated graphics. They've made some beautiful discrete processors, just the processor itself, never really with onboards. But then the last two generation of uh, Ryzen series with the APUs, they've integrated the Radeon uh, graphics. So now people, especially with Radeons, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Ryzen's, now with uh, onboard graphics with Radeon 8s, these 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 things are selling like hotcakes. I mean, I if, for example, if I was to build a system myself, I'd rather use a Ryzen with an onboard Radeon. Uh, I could use best best of both worlds. I mean, if I couldn't afford a GPU right now, which is the case for the last six months, I could get one of these uh, APUs with the onboard Radeon 8. Okay, it's not going to be the best, but it will get me running. I've been running for a while, for maybe like, you know, uh, three months or whatever. Then I can get the discrete graphics card uh, later on. So, yeah, if you want a, a decent onboard graphics uh, processor, uh, a processor with a built-in onboard graphics, check out the Ryzen 5000 series. And this will plug straight into any AM4 processor, uh, sorry, AM4 motherboards. Uh, if you have a B550 or a or a B uh, uh, or a X570, then these processors will slot in right away, and you can actually get some up systems up and running. 
All right. So those uh, we also have. Check it out. What other news items we have? Ooh, I like this one as well. This is like the Minis Forum. Remember the uh, showed you the chassis that we had before the Minis Forum. Uh, the Minis Forum now have a proper system built ready to go on sale and this one has a really high-end processor check it out Ryzen 9 50 5900 HX processor this this thing is a beast it's got the Ryzen 9 and it has uh, dual channel DDR4 RAM in it so dim looks like and it's got a 2.5 inch SATA as well as the M.2 SSDs um, it looks pretty decent and it's a mini system you could actually put that you know, anywhere really, behind a TV, <laughs> mount it on the wall, whatever. But uh, the price is not too cheap. This one, over a 32 gig RAM, 512 gig storage, is over a thousand dollars. Yeah. But you are getting a Ryzen 9 5900 HX processor. So, yeah. But anyway. Uh, Minis Forum. I think that's it for today. Uh, for all the news updates on our AMD 3D website. Let's check and see what's going on with the chat. All right. Thirty seventy isn't too expensive. Plus Best Buys, well, the Best Buy I went to in Canada didn't have any in stock. So, yeah, yeah, not much happening there. It's a great place. He had like TVs in one section. Uh, it's a massive warehouse inside. It's all done up nicely. It's, they got the Geek Squad in there. Yeah, the little section called the Geek Squad. I think it's just more repairs and maintenance and stuff like that. But yeah, TVs, printers kitchenware um av systems home home entertainment pcs laptops everything is all in there uh you could actually spend probably half a day just walking around um but as far as components uh are concerned they have all the the ones like you expect like the samson the intels and things like that um but but not like like an enthusiast type of um components where you could think oh yeah i want to get an evga or i'm going to get a um you know an xfx or a, or nvidia whatever you know uh but yeah you won't, you won't get you won't see any of that yeah well one, once they are to kind of out of stock right now so <laughs> out of stock and uh hard to get hold of like uh yeah Ninus, Ninus is around there sometimes. Uh, film random stuff. Best Buy. Yeah, I think they got a couple of Best Buys around. The one I've been to is in Richmond area. So they might have some other Best Buys in different areas. In within Vancouver. Uh, but yeah. But if you think about what they do. And the warehouse they have. I mean, they. I'm sure the warehouse here rentals quite cheap. And I see right now down where I live. Where I'm actually staying. There's warehouses everywhere, and I'm sure these warehouses are, are dirt cheap to rent, because I, I can see like loads of them right there. I might even set up a warehouse. <laughs> the Funky Kit Studio. <coughs> oh, nuts. All right, so uh, earlier we moved on and talked about some of the stuff. Here we go to cover the news and updates on our website for Kikit as well as AMD 3D. We're going to do the experience of the live event on streaming on Google Meets. So uh, Google Meets, yes. Yeah, so for guys who don't know about Google Meets, you can actually get Google Meets right now. Let me just check if I can get it right here. Uh, I need to go to mail. Here we go. All right. Let me show you what it mean. Here we go. Let me show you the website. Here we have uh, Google Meets. Now, uh, it's very simple. All you need to do is start a new meeting. You can create a meeting later or start a meeting instantly or, or schedule it through Google Calendar, right? And it's just like any video conference. Uh, you get your code, you get your password if you want. You can leave it open 
for everyone to join. Um, but uh, what I noticed is that this particular account here, as you can see, I'm using my uh, Funky Kit account right here. And uh, this is a business account. And with the business account, you get unlimited kind of like uh, no kind of restrictions in terms of time uh, line. Um, so you can have the meeting on for like an hour, two hours, three hours, whatever, uh, because you're paying, right? Um, good for the service. Now, however, if you have the free account, which a lot of people do, just have the Gmail account. Uh, I think one to one, I think there's no limit. So you can actually do a, a Google Meets call one to one. Uh, or if you want to do a live stream event and um, for one particular person to look at or, or um, you know, just one account for people to join to look at, then that's fine. You could have, uh, there's no restrictions. But however, if you have like multiple people to join the event, uh, for example, there's people in London, there's people in Hong Kong, there's people in Vancouver, there's people in uh, uh, different uh, in different cities, and they want to join the live stream of a particular event. So I could I could be the host. I'll be sending out um, Google Meets invites to people to join, and they're all different locations. When they join, if I'm using a personal account, there's a one hour limitation. All right, after one hour, you you need to uh, restart. Actually, no, you can't restart because it will remember the last um, link. So you have to create a new uh, meeting, which is a pain in the ass. Uh, but if you pay for the uh, business service or the professional service, then, then Google allows you then to do the live meeting without restrictions. All right. So guys, if you want to do what, uh, uh, more than one hour live stream, with multiple participants, then you might want to opt for the Google Business or the um, the paid version of the Google Meets. Uh, that allow you then to do more than one hour. So the the event that we did was a, like a, a wedding uh, live stream. We did it for more than like two hours, two and a half hours. And um, I was basically we had a laptop at the reception area. Okay, so that's the host. And uh, with the camera, so people would walk into the reception area. The laptop would be already set up. People would say hellos to their hellos and stuff like that in front of the laptop. And they'll move on to the desk, also the desk, the, the dining area where they'd be sat at. Or uh, during that time, then, of course, they walk down to the, um, I think it's the, uh, what they call it, the, the gazebo and the kind of outdoor area where they have seats set. And that's where the ceremony was held. And basically, I had another camera uh, on the phone. So I had a phone. The phone then would be basically um, set up with the Google Meets. So the, the host, remember, the host is on my laptop. I sent I sent the invite to the chat on the um, the phone. I opened the link uh, to the to the uh, Google Meets, and I'll open my Google Meets on the phone. And then this would be a participant. And I would film that or hold that in front, downstairs in the uh, uh, gazebo area, the outdoors, and that would people would then watch that as well as the front on the reception area. At the same time, remember this link was sent out to all people around in different countries: one in London, one in Cardiff, one in Hong Kong, and so on. Then people need just to link, click on that link to join the uh, the Google Meets. Now, if they want to expand to see the ceremony, for example, where the gazebo was, then they just click on the uh, that window to expand it, and they will see that particular window, right? That window here. If they want to see the reception area, all the other participants need to do is click on that little window where the reception area was held, which is the host camera, host computer. So it does work quite well, actually. Um, it just needs a good connection, so make sure you have a good connection where you're hosting so you need a good either good wi-fi at least 10 megabytes upload um i think 10 megabytes is more than enough the place that we went to had 20 megabytes upload so that's that's good uh, anything less than that you might get some issues with uh, um, delays and um, things like that but yeah definitely uh something to look into if you want to do live events with google meets and google meets is free you don't need to pay for anything extra unless you do multiple participants for more than one hour, right? So if you have a more than one hour event, then uh, you might want to get the paid version.
but yeah, it's it's a fantastic uh, um, tool. I, I wasn't even expecting to do the setup, but it did. It worked quite well. Host laptop with a camera on the reception area. That's actually the host to accept all the uh, participants. Then we use the mobile as a participant filming a different area. Everybody joins in with the link. And they just, if they want to watch different areas, they just click on that window to expand. And that, that works great. Yeah. All right. Valdes D, hey, welcome. Yeah, the Google Meets, yes, they do have a 60-minute limit, one hour. Um, but that's the free version, um, which, you know, if you want to do, like, uh, one hour free is fine. More than more than one hour, then you need a paid version. Uh, so it depends on the event that you're going to be doing. If you're only streaming for half hour, then that's fine. You can just click on the uh, the free version to do the setup, and you can have multiple participants uh, up to 60 minutes. But if you want to do an event which is more than 60 minutes, which I described, I think we went to do a wedding little uh, uh, stream, then that's like more than an hour, right? So we did more than an hour. I think it was about two and a half hours. Then I, I needed a, a kind of a, a, a paid version for that. JD, uh, M JD Mac, almost missed today's stream. Needed to say thank you for the... R oh, you received it. Well done. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed the uh, um, motherboard. Great. Intense webs. Thank you for uh, subscribing. Very well done. Thank you. Oh, my mic's gone. My mic should be working. I can see the levels. You guys can hear me okay? <laughs> it probably just went off. Oh, JD. Okay, well, uh, I'm sure you'll be getting your motherboard soon. Well done, and hope you can uh, enjoy your motherboard. All right, so uh, Google Meets. If you have any interesting or information or any like questions about Google Meets and you want to do live stream on Google Meets, let me know. I can actually help you with that. Uh, I'll probably be writing an article on how to do Google Meets live stream. All right. Um, this is the difference between this live stream and a Google Meets live stream is that the live stream with OBS right now I'm doing is stationary. It's, you know, it's actually stationary. So I'm not moving anywhere. I'm at a location. Um, so this is what you're seeing. I'm switching my windows and things like that. This is actually you know, OBS working with my uh, Streamlabs and everything. So this is the main difference, all right? So with the Streamlabs, you're actually stationary. You're not moving anywhere. You have all your windows and, you you know, all the cool different uh, sound effects and things like that. So that's actually doing what we're doing right now. With the Google Meets, you're actually live. You're moving around, right? So you have a host set up. You can do it on, on the phone as a host. But the main thing is that you're actually moving around. Right, so if you have a 5G connection or a 4G connection on your phone, that's good enough. Um, and people then can actually see the live stream. You're moving your camera around, you're moving your phone around, you're, and uh, and you know you're you're doing all the live stream on the phone from one angle, from one camera point of view. You can have another camera set up on a different laptop somewhere else. Uh, but yeah, if you want to know how to set it up, uh, I have I've. We've had experience in that, so we're going to write it up and then let you guys know. So if you want to have any questions, you can, yeah, ping me. Pick Radio. Thanks for my ASRock B450 gaming motherboard has arrived. Great. Hope you enjoy your motherboard. All right, okay, let's move on and uh, let's have a look at what's going on. Next part, right here we go. And we're going to be doing the uh, Rig Builder. All right, so Rig Builder. Let me bring up Rig Builder. Here we go. 
So Rick Builder can be found on your top left hand corner on the Funky Kit website as well as AMD 3D website. So we're going to do the Funky Kit website. We're going to hit Rick Builder and you can see there's uh, two categories you can choose from, uh, workstation or gaming. We're going to get gaming and we're going to select a budget, say $1,600. All right, we're going to select AMD as a processor and AMD as a graphics card, and we're going to hit submit. And what will happen is, once you input your criteria, it's going to go to Amazon and it's going to c uh, come up with some prices. Now, if you pick that AMD processor, it will then match the AMD uh, motherboard as well to go with it. So you won't get an Intel board. If you pick the AMD processor, it will go with the AMD motherboard. So here we go. So we picked up an AMD processor and... Um, is already selected the Ryzen 7 5800X as a processor. Now, if you want to choose something else, you can. You can actually go down and choose your own, but I think that's fine. And then moving on to the board, it should be a B550 or an X570 on the board. So here we go. It's actually selected um, something else, but here. But yeah, but you have a list of B550 boards or X570 boards. So um, I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to go with the Gigabyte X570. That's good enough. Oh, graphics card. It's come up with some stuff. Last time it didn't. <laughs> but these are the old graphics card. This was the uh, uh, 570. Uh, yeah, it's a bit too old, these ones. So we can uh, skip these. But um, I'll leave it on anyway. Memory, we have uh, Corsair, uh, Crucial, Team Group, uh, Patriot Viper, RGB, Mushkin. I'm going to go with the, the Patriot Viper. I like the uh, Viper RGB. These are the DDR4, 4100. Ooh, these are ooh, fast. All right, we've got SSDs. We could choose some SSDs here. We've got Samsung, Sabrent. We've got Hynix. We've got the WD. Oh, these ones are really good. I heard about these. The Samsung 980 Pro. There's a half terabyte. These are super fast. And we've got some power supplies. We've got Corsair, EVGA, NZXT, Corsair. some more Corsair. Lots of Corsair power supplies. We're going to go for an 850. 850 is fine at that price. Not bad. 134 and then we got a case Corsair NZXT Cooler Master and things like that I like a cool I like the NZXT I'm going to click on that here you go once you're happy with the collection uh, selection right here then you can actually move on down to buy all but we're not going to do that yet but I want to show you something else here you go see that little hover there with the mouse now if you want to look into more detail for a product you can actually hop your mouse here and then click on that and it'll open the actual product page in Amazon you can see more detailed the availability and so on so these are pretty cool i like that i like that little feature right there you can actually hover your mouse over that particular product that you've chosen and then go into more detail all right move on we can actually hint buy all it doesn't buy all actually it will give you a list of all the components that you've seen on that list and then for a final check once you're happy with that then you can continue and then it will actually put all of this stuff into your shopping cart where then you can actually buy and continue to uh, purchase. So yeah, so there's Rig Builder for you. Hope you guys uh, continue to enjoy Rig Builder. Now, if you have any comments, any feedbacks or any bugs that you've uh, reported, uh, yeah, hit me up. Let me know. So uh, Rig Builder, both available on our Funky Kit website as well as the AMD 3D website right here. All right. Okay, hope you enjoyed that rant. Um, now, before we move on further, we're going to take a look. And uh, we've got the, yes, mods of the week. We do mods of the week? Yes, yeah, we'll do mods of the week. Here we go. Yes, mods of the week. Taken from our extreme PC modding group, guys. That's right. So, um... These are the mods. We've uh, we didn't actually do a slideshow this week, so we're gonna do like uh, I think we're just gonna do. Here we go. We'll do a couple from the Extreme PC Modern Group, and we'll do a couple from the Funky Kit and Gadgets Group. Okay, so uh, let's switch over the screen. Here we go. So as you can see, our Extreme PC Modern Group. We have 84,000 members. So thanks guys for joining. It's a great place to get some ideas on some mods. If you had a mods that you want to mod, if you want like you know. You've got mods that you've done already, so you want to show off. And if you want to, you know, get some ideas on how to mod, so head, check it out. Extreme PC Modding Group. We have over 84,000 members, so thanks guys for joining. All right, we'll start off, we'll scroll down to have a look and see what we have. Oh, look at this one here. Interesting. This guy's got like a, a theme going on there. Star Wars theme, looks like. With the red. 
Oh, is that a? That's an open chassis, right? Very nice. I quite like this one. It's, it's, it's clean. Yeah, it's very clean. Um, in terms of like you know you got the radiators and the fans going up this way, and you got the distro plate right there, going into the uh, graphics card and the graphics card with the uh, CPU water block there, very nice. And the RAM is accessible, which is perfect. I love that. So I'm gonna give this a good eight, actually. I quite like this. Yeah, very nice. I quite like this. I'm gonna give it an eight. EK water components. Yeah, water cooling components. Very nice. Yep, I'm gonna give this an eight. Very nice. Okay, so what else we have in the extreme PC modding group? This is a nice build, that's clean. All right, so this picture, I'm not sure I can see if it's, oh, it is. <laughs> oh man, look at this. Uh, I gotta give it to the guy, he's got some um, a, a crazy imagination right here. It's kind of all over the place, but he's actually done a quite okay job actually. Distro plate, one side, hard drives on the other side, power supply at the top right there, pumps and reservoirs. Um, I'm going to give this a 7. It's okay. Yeah, this is a kind of 7. I don't have any other photos, but uh, it looks, yeah, it looks 7 for me. Alright, uh, did I see this one before? All right, this one has. Uh, ooh, look at the bends on this one. This one's got nice paint work on this one. Nice paint job. I like the design on that. And it's got like a nice bends inside. Ooh. Now that's. It's okay. Uh, the RAM is blocked, but you know. But I gotta give it. I mean, if this was at the top right here, with the nice bends, it'll that work quite nicely. So this one, just for the bends, I'm going to give this uh, an 8. Yeah, I'm going to give this an 8. Alright, so, moving on, see what else we have here. Oh, look at this one. I want to see this one a little bit more. It's got a, a bit of soft tubing and hard tubing. No, soft tubing. All right. Trying to see what else others have posted over the last week. All right. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, let's have a look at this one. This one um, looks like a Cougar case, right? Oh no, is it is it a TT helicopter one? The T six hundred. Uh it's okay. Nice clear cooler. Works quite well. This one, nice clean build. I'm gonna give this uh an eight as well. That's it's something I would have built. Alright. Cool. All right, so I think that's it for the Extreme PC model. Let's flip over to the Funky Kitten Gadgets. Now, uh, Rattle Row is the guy who, who posted a lot of the mods on this uh, group page. So you want to check it out, head over there. All right, this is interesting. Bentleys, beer, bong, beer bongs. Oh, check it out. Very nice. Look at the uh, Bud Light and the... And the um, I think it's got like liquid gold coolant. Like, oh, it's got the Bentley in there. It's a bit of artwork there. Kind of weird combination, though. No? 
You would have thought the Bentley would be a, like a car type of mod, but it's not. It's, it's combined with some beer. <laughs> Distro plate is okay. Uh, the Bud Light kind of like is doesn't actually go with it, but uh, but the whole design is not too bad. I do like the. Uh, I do like the design of the, uh, the, the the actual build. So for this one, I'm not sure what that be it, but lights doing there. But if it wasn't there, uh, this build I'm gonna give it a good eight as well. Yeah, quite nice. All right, this is weird. This is like a uh, back. To, ooh, it's got like uh, all the uh, the bullets. Yeah. Green though, Ghost Recon. Nice artwork, very nice artwork for this one. I don't know about the green though. I could have used something else as a green coolant. <laughs> yeah, the idea is okay. The idea is okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm gonna give this a good eight as well. Yeah, it's okay. Not bad, not bad. Looks like a P P five. Hey, sweetie balls, how's it going? Beer bongs and Bentleys is a post Malone album. All right, so what do you reckon of this uh, Ghost Recon build with the green coolant and the and the bullet ch rails there, chains? I'll give it an eight for this one. All right, moving on. We've got this one here. Very nice. Nice and clean. It's got a little bit of purple there. Dragon Ball Z themed. All in one. The Dark Hero. Dark Hero. Oh, the name sounds quite nice. Dark Hero. I've actually used the Lian Lee all in one. It's not too bad, actually. It's quite nice in terms of the actual quality, the build, and the look of it. Um, yeah, I would have probably put some LCD on there as well. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z build. Nice and. Um, Themed, very nice, Ooh, nice artwork. I like that. Ooh, very nice. Okay, well, I'll probably give it a good eight as well. This one, just for the artwork. Yeah. All right, moving on. Oh, this is interesting. I've seen this before. It's got like a, as a, isn't it like a Spitfire type of um, build, right? Spitfire theme to like World War Two Spitfires, the 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 planes. Very nice. I couldn't see the components. There's nothing I could see. Maybe we'll have to look at the, some of the pictures later on. MN PC Tech published the uh, two of the World War Two Spitfire co uh, cockpit Alienware case. Ah, man. okay, cool. All these photos, no mods. Okay. All right. So we've got this one here. Thunder. Is it Thunders? The artwork's a little bit crazy. Not too sure about that, though. Very, uh... Oh, okay. Okay, okay. okay. So it's the whole thing, not just the case. you got the graphics card. All in one. As well, as well as the uh, SSD uh, uh, plates, the M.2 cooling plates there, heatsink covers, they're all uh, under hood, IO hood. So, okay. I would have picked a different topic or different theme, but it's unusual. The stickers, ah, okay. Well, if they're stickers, then um, oh, I can see the stickers right there, yeah. But wouldn't that 
it's not great for cooling if you put them onto the um, the heat sinks, the M.2 heat sinks. But I guess it's just for fun, right? Yeah, I'll probably give it a, a 7.5 for this one though. Nothing, nothing special. It's not a paint job. It's just stickers. Probably a seven. All right. Okay, moving on, and let's see what else is here. Oh, I've seen this one. So <laughs> Round Row posted this one. I mean, this is crazy. I'm gonna zoom in. There you go. This guy, what's he done? He's actually. <laughs> it's not real, right? <laughs> but the idea, the concept of this, uh, uh, very interesting. I've actually seen someone did something similar, but it was two tanks. So the front tank was was like a, a U-shaped, where you actually have an aquarium, a small thin aquarium. Then behind that aquarium, you have another, of course, the PC setup with all the RGB and everything. So it looks it looks as if the actual whole motherboard, the, cool, the RAM and everything was actually submerged in the, the tank. But it's actually a two tank um, system. Yeah. So one part of the tank is empty where you put all your motherboards. The other, ta the other tank is then filled with the aquarium. So it looks like as if the whole board was submerged in there. But yeah, I like the concept. I like the idea. I'll probably give this a good 8.5. Yeah. All right, so we saw that earlier. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for. Oh, look at this! <laughs> I'm not sure this guy was going through his mind. <laughs> Sorry, but like, oh my god, I don't know whether to cry or or laugh on this one. Um. Uh. I think he's just wanted to use all the tubes, right? Because like, <laughs> these kids, he's probably ordered a lot of tubes, the soft tubing, and it's like, oh, I'm not going to cut it and waste it. it must well <laughs> use all of it. But <laughs> this one, I can't, I mean, fair dues, it does look kind of like different. And, but then you actually wasted a lot of coolant too. <laughs> but hey, if the guy is happy with what is, that's, that's fine actually. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably give it a, I'll probably give it a seven. <laughs> it's like, oh, I got too much tubing. Just wrap it around it. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, well, it turns out to be okay, actually. I mean, yeah, I get. I'm guess. What do you guys think? <laughs> Well, it used up all the uh, tubing, all right? So, you know, there's nothing in waste, nothing to waste. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I do like a bit of soft tubing. It, it works well in certain certain builds. Uh, I've always kind of like, uh, in fact, if there were certain builds, I've actually built one with part soft build, uh, soft tubing, part hard tubing. And when they come together, and it, it does look quite good. All right, so I think that's uh, mods that we pretty much covered for this week. I think um, we'll have some more next week. By the way, uh, I will be traveling back next week, so uh, uh, you might see a delay in the uh, mods the week, uh, also the whole the whole show, the fucking show. So we'll let you know next week, okay? So uh, definitely, we're ha I'm gonna have one more week in, in in Vancouver and then heading back to Hong Kong. Uh, next week so yeah we'll let you know what's happening with this show but yeah definitely we'll do one uh, before we go before uh, I fly out all right so uh, we're gonna take a, a quick break all right guys and um, enjoy this video this video is basically basically what you'll be winning if you are a twitch subscriber so head over to twitch.tv slash kit and subscribe and um, we're giving away one of these fantastic motherboards is the ASRock X570 Tai Chi Razer Edition and uh, we're gonna give that away on the 22nd of August on our live show so make sure you join our live show uh, to be in 
<laughs> yeah, it went off again. So yeah, do make sure you join our live show on the 22nd of August. Uh, and uh, of course, it's the Funky Show Live. And uh, yes, and make sure you subscribe to our Twitch channel. So head over to twitch.tv slash funkykit and subscribe. And this is what you'll be winning if you are a Twitch subscriber. Our premium prize, the ASRock uh, X570 Tai Chi Razor Edition. Enjoy the video. I will be back after this short little break. Hey guys, hello, hello. Hey guys, welcome back. Yes, that was a short video of what you'd be winning if you were a Twitch subscriber. So head over to twitch.tv slash funkykit and subscribe. And uh, yes, join our live show on the 22nd of August and uh, we'll pick a live winner on the day to win the ASRock X570 Tai Chi Razor Edition motherboard. Fantastic motherboard. I want to check it out, here you go. It's a, uh, yeah. Look at that video. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. X570 Tai Chi Razor Edition. Fantastic motherboard. Yes, you'll be winning one of these. All right. Look at that. Supports all of the latest Ryzen 5000 processors. Supports DDR4 RAM up to like 50 
whatever 100 megahertz it was just crazy uh pci4 standards for your ssd you got three slots of those uh and then you got the uh, pcie steel slots for your graphics cards um a fully rgb sync with the chroma the uh, rgb chroma from the razor chroma a very nice motherboard so this is what you'll be winning yes uh if you uh, uh sign up and subscribe to our twitch channel so head over to twitch.tv slash funky and subscribe all right guys um let's do a quick uh prize giveaway announcements and have a look at some of the stuff that's happening here here we go take a look at that and uh yes so this is what we talked about earlier and this is what you'll be winning if you're a twitch subscriber so head over to twitch.tv subscribe at a funky kit yeah you can check out the full review as well as the uh the video on our website fantastic motherboard and um yes we're giving one of these away for our twitch subscribers it's one of these what we call a premium prize for our uh all our twitch subscribers to so say thank you for subscribing to our channel fantastic at that fantastic motherboard i love the power and reset buttons the diagnostic leds it's got eight side ports for your ssds yeah chroma razor chroma rgb look at that lovely motherboard you can check out the full review as well as the video on our website at funkykit.com so make sure you subscribe to our twitch channel head over to twitch.tv slash funkykit and subscribe and doing a live show on the 22nd of august and uh yes we'll be picking a winner live on the show all right so that's it let's have a look and see what's going on on the uh the prize giveaway announcement so we picked up two winners from our prize giveaways here we go this is the prize giveaway we're talking about as uh, the prize giveaway 130 which is the asrock uh, b360 gaming k4 motherboard and uh, well done to two winners jdm cca and ollie p uh, both winners we picked up uh, randomly for our uh, give lab so they already sent the their sh shipping address and telephone number so well done to uh, JD MCCA and also Oli P for winning the uh, ASRock B360 motherboard and uh, we'll see if I can get some more uh, prizes from ASRock uh, for this month and but any case we'll have uh, lots of prize giveaways on our live show right now yes we'll be doing right now uh, let's start off with this one this is what we have right now on our merchandise store so if you want to get some merchandise support us in any way then head over to streamlabs.com slash funkit slash merch where you'll be able to buy some merchandise or funkit merchandise and it will help support the show as well as all of our uh, reviews and uh, sh yeah live prize giveaways and everything so yeah we've got funky kit baseball caps we've got mugs we've got jacket we've got the uh, uh bit the backpack as well as t-shirts as and hoodies string bags and uh mouse mats and the flip-flops yes we have flip-flops so what we're going to do is we're going to give um a, a poll we're going to start a poll and and get you guys to pick the uh the prize that you want to win all right so let's start the poll let's uh let's let's do this now right now here you go poll we're going to start the poll we have one minute to uh complete this poll so guys pick the item that you want to win in today's show so we got a t-shirt mug uh mouse mat we got a baseball cap string bag and a hoodie so i'm going to start the poll right now head over to twitch.tv slash kit give us a follow and head over to the chat and pick the prize that you want to win today in our live show all right so with the command in the in the chat of uh, twitch it's uh, i think it's plus a t for t-shirt plus m for the uh, mouse mat also for the mug plus matt for the mouse mat plus b for the baseball cap sp for string bag and plus h for hoodie all right so just looking at the uh the poll oh look at this look at this look at this i'll give you a quick look at this t-shirts in the lead we got a mug with no votes we got a mouse mat with no votes we got a baseball cap with one vote and two votes for the hoodie but the t-shirt is the one that seems to be um in the favor all right so we got like 10 seconds left all right and and it's done here we go it looks like the t-shirt 
has won the poll for the day and will be giving away a funky kit t-shirt all right so let's start the uh the prize giveaway and uh we're gonna do the t-shirt yes the t-shirt t-shirt the funky kit t-shirt let's set this up give me a second looking good and the poll oh uh, sorry the uh, prize giveaway has started yes that's right. <laughs> yes. That's right. And we're giving away a Funky Kit t-shirt. So head over to twitch.tv slash Funky Kit. Give us a follow. Join the chat. And the command that you need to type for winning a Funky Kit t-shirt is this. Let me just type that in right now. So you guys know what to type in the chat. Here we go. I think it's this one right here. I can type in this. Basically, the command is plus I love FK t shirt. That's right. Type in that command right now, and you'll be in for a chance to win a funky uh, t shirt. Yes. All right. All right. Looking good. So while that's running, we got about a couple of minutes. I'm going to talk about uh, my Best Buy experience. Okay, so the Best Buy is, uh, as you know, it's a superstore. Uh, rather than like if it was in the UK, it would be like a Curry's or PC World. Um, if it was in Hong Kong, I don't think there's any like superstore. Maybe Broadway or Fortress. Um, in the States, they have, of course, uh, the uh, Best, but they have Best Buy in the States as well. But they also have the, um, is it the Computer World or something like that? I can't remember what they're called. With, uh, but inside it's like a huge warehouse. And of course, uh, different areas, different sections, they have different uh, components and, you know, uh, different uh products consumer electronics like tvs av audio equipment stuff like that and then the section is all computer stuff yeah we went particularly to the printer section because we needed the printer and uh, a couple of you know office printers uh, home office printers we've got some like really like home use printers uh, i think you know it was a whole good selection of, of products you can actually go in there there's actually kitchenware there's actually um Anything that's electronic that you could think of, it's in there. You can actually buy stuff there. So, my experience, um, I think if they had a section where there was more components, more PC components, more enthusiast graded components, um, then I think I'll be a nice little air, nice little spot where I can actually go and get stuff. But I think it's not exactly the type of store that people enthusiasts would want to go it's not like you could pick up something that you want to like build up your own diy they have diy products in there but not a lot of not a great deal but uh definitely consumer electronics tvs um video equipment whatever it's, it's all there yeah but diy probably want to go to your local specialist store or go online they have all their components online i think not in the store as much but if you go online then there's probably a lot more so uh that's my experience i think it's definitely definitely good to have one of these stores nearby for all your other electronic uh purchases tvs for example is one of the here you go give you an idea nice big tv i got one right here look at that sony <laughs> Looks kind of lonely, right? I need a, <laughs> I need a uh, sound bar and a, a, some standing speakers or something like that to make it look a bit more beefier. All right, let's have a look at the uh, prize giveaway. I think we're about to end, right? Oh, we got about a minute left, guys. Get in there. 
bro, a funky t-shirt. That's what we're giving away. Give you guys what I look. There we go. This is what it looks like, the funky t-shirt. Yes. Available in the black. We have them in the navy. We also have them in the grey. The grey's not too bad. We also have them in the white as well. I think the navy's nice. The funky kit t-shirt. We're giving a win uh, way today in our live show. And guys, if you want to support us in any way, um, it doesn't. You don't have to wait until the live show to do uh, or to get to help us or sponsor us or support us. You can actually purchase the merchandise anytime. Go to streamlabs.com/slash/footkit/slash/merch and get yourself some merchandise. That'll help us with the show as well as continuing with uh, all these lovely, great prize giveaways. All right, the prize giveaway has ended. Yes, we're gonna pick a winner right now. And I am going to count to five. five four, three, two, one. And we're going to pick the winner. Woohoo! Robotic Pizza 9, you are the winner. Well done. Yes, I'm going to give you a clap. Because you are... Awesome. Awesome. Well done, well done. Well done. And uh, all you got to do is click on a link... Claim your prize. Claim your prize. Well done, Robotic Pizza, for winning the fucking t-shirt. Well done, well done. Congrats. Yes, click on a link. Claim your prize. Okay. So that's pretty much covered for this week's show. Hope you enjoyed the show. And of course, we got some uh, great prize giveaways every week, as well as uh, some sponsored... Uh, uh, price giveaways so check out the website at funkykit.com and of course make sure you subscribe to our channel the funky kit uh, channel so head over to twitch.tv slash funky kit and subscribe because you'll be able to win some fantastic prizes including the asrock x570 tai chi razor edition of the board which is right here uh this is what we're going to give away to all our uh twitch subscribers yes not to everyone there's only one winner yes so but head over there subscribe and you'll be in for a chance to win this fantastic motherboard uh yes the asrock b uh x570 uh tai chi razor edition so make sure you do that subscribe head over to twitch.tv slash funky and subscribe all right so as you know i've been traveling um to canada and uh, the Canada is great. It's a great uh, way to Vancouver. So this is a great city, fantastic city. Uh, I love the weather. I love the people. Um, but yeah, definitely, uh, if you want to get traveling this well towards the end of the year, hopefully the end of the year will be better. Definitely for next year, get your jabs done because the the people here, the airports people, uh, uh, on each country requirements are so different. It's a pain in the ass to get all the paperwork done. So yeah, if you get your jabs done. It's uh, much easier. I know there's the, I know there's people like anti-vaxxers and stuff like that, but uh, hey, it's it's for the benefit of you know your family members. You don't want people from you know f infecting others and stuff like that. So yeah, if you get a chance, do your jabs. Do your jabs. It's 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 uh it's safe. To be honest with you, I've had mine, no problems at all. All right, guys. So uh, if you want to travel, do that, and also make sure that uh, you tune in for our show because next week we'll be tra well, I'll be traveling back to Hong Kong and uh, I'll let you know I get let you guys know when that the show will happen but yeah definitely but yeah I've been, I spent a couple of weeks I spent about four, four weeks here in, in Vancouver great city love I love Canada and uh, hope you guys can join me in my next show when I'm back in Hong Kong where I'll be back at my studio again so hope you enjoyed the show uh, we will do this again next week and uh, yeah, definitely. So see you. Make sure you stay safe and enjoy the rest of the week. So until then, this is Winston for the Funky Kit Show live. And don't forget to subscribe. Head over to twitch.tv slash Funky and subscribe. Okay? Until next week. Bye-bye.